Our journey starts in Normandy, a part of France famous for its dairy products, which include butter, creme fraiche, Livero, Pont l'Evêque, Neufchâtel, and of course, Camembert, a soft ripened cheese sold in a small, thin wooden box with a smell reminiscent of whiffy feet. All a bit awkward when you're traveling in a small car with your daughter. One of my very favorite places, of course, it has a great history when it comes to its connection with Britain during the Second World War, because it's where the D-Day landings yeah. were held. One of the funny things is that the origins of Normandy cheese start with butter, with the Vikings. They put their cows there. It was perfect dairy climate. The cheeses of Normandy are actually made, generally speaking, from um, milk, where they've taken the cream off to make the butter. But there's a great risk at the moment that the big industrial producers will win out in terms of getting rid of raw milk, etc., and just trying to emulate those flavors. But you can never really emulate nature. Mm. You can get close, but mm. you just can't totally copy it. So one of the challenges for your generation is whether those cheeses will still be around in another 50 years. How we hold on to it? Well, whether you're prepared to fight, because if you let commerce do it, they'll disappear. Yeah.